Does anybody remember when we last did a trolley problem map from Henzoid? And I was like, wouldn't it be cool if one of these was made with Create so that the train would actually move and run things over? Well, somebody heard that, got the memo, and made a trolley problem map with Create. They got the memo. And that's very exciting. We got some rules. We got a book and quill. Let's read the rules. We've got create. Otherwise, I don't think we could have loaded this up. You can go to the nether, although this will never be required to progress. Going to the nether causes a weird texture glitch. Okay, maybe just don't go to the nether. Um, render distance should be good. Kill people. Remember to like and subscribe. Promote merch if necessary. Uh, it, do not use the texture pack provided. Did, uh, huh. What does this do? Oh, it's the same. It's the same. This is just an editable version of the rules. Haha, -ha, I, the invisible plot goblin, have stolen your house. I couldn't have you being sus too quick. But now that you're out here, you're all mine. <laughs> If you want your house back, you must do as I say. Only then will I give you back your house. But hey, I'm a nice guy and create his pain. So I only have one request. Uh, scenario one. Oh, oh, oh boy. Well, um, what we have here. Ah, I see. That's why it says don't go to the nether because there are big nether portals and stuff. Money, 1500. Injured, zero. Killed, zero. Respawned. Okay. So this is fascinating. What do we have here? This lever is decor only and does not affect the scenario. Got it. Understood. Man, this is so cool. We got real tracks and a real train, though. My goodness. Ain't this awesome. Go explore the scenario. What do? Do nothing. Pull the lever. A train emerges from a tunnel, temporarily blinding the conductor. If you do nothing, five people will be run over. If you divert the train, those five will live, but one person will be run over instead. Thinking about this from a liability standpoint, though, if I am the one to flip the lever, then this person's family could sue me versus I do nothing. And yes, more people have been unalived, but they can't sue me because I haven't actually done anything. Also, what if these people actually all four of them were going to go on to be murderers and this over here, this person was going to go on to cure cancer? How do you how do you bring that into the calculation, right? That's the question. But what if I was just to say do nothing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alrighty then, folks. It actually done does hit them. Well then, um, I have money. How do I lose or gain money? Okay, so the scenario, oh, it's gonna keep giving me new books. I have to throw stuff out. Train emerges from the tunnel. If you do nothing, one person who does not want to die will be run over and die. On the other track are 10 demonetization desiring people. If you divert the train, the one person will live, but those 10 will unalive instead. Huh. I'm gonna be honest, though, this does open up a significant degree of liability on my end, because regardless of the supposed wishes of these 10 people over here, their families might be like, you really just diverted the train in order to slay 10 people instead of one, and now I am truly on the hook for real liability here, uh, which on the other hand, if I do nothing, then less people die and I don't have liability. So if we really think about this from an insurance liability standpoint, I think it's another do nothing, to be completely honest. What happens if I stand in front of the train? Oh my God, I would get knocked into the nether. <laughs> Uh, well, turns out I can be, do I get added to the kill count if I die? 
Interesting. If you do nothing, 11 people die because those 10 are likely to go at a later time. We all die eventually, folks. Okay. And maybe those 10 people would have decided, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to just, I am going to live my life, you know? Okay. If you do nothing, five people will die. If you divert the train, it will hit a brick wall, non-fatally injuring 30 passengers and making all 200 passengers late for whatever they have to do. You see, the answer here is, I just want to see what happens when the create train hits the brick wall. I don't really care about anything else. I just want to do a Mr. Beast video. So I'm going to pull the lever, crunk, because I'm more fascinated by the experiment. Enjoy being late, folks. Okay. I thought blocks might actually have gone flying. But hey, I saved some folks, but 30 are injured. Presumably because the wall exploded rather than flying bricks everywhere. Why you didn't tell me the wall was actually rigged with TNT and the blast force was going to injure people. I I I didn't think that was the case, but make sure to like the video by the way and subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. Alrighty, scenario 4. If you do nothing, five people will die. If you divert the train, some number some number between 0 and 20 people will die. You see, here's the problem. If I divert the train and 20 people die, then I'm really on the hook for some serious liability because, again, they'll be like, you just diverted the train and instead of five people, 20 people died, and that's your fault, and this is all your fault, and now you lose money. Um, on the other hand, if I do nothing, then it's one of those it's one of those situations where if I divert the train, it'll be 20 people. If I don't, then it'll be zero people, and that's just how it works because that's how my life is. So I think from a liability standpoint... People have now just stopped watching because they're like, if he says liability one more time, I am going to throw my phone at the nearest grouping of five people at a velocity such that it is equal to the force of them being hit by a train, which would probably have to be a velocity close to the speed of light. But you get the idea. Okay, anyway, scenario five. If you do nothing, five people will die. If you divert the train, it will hit a brick wall. Killing the conductor and destroying the locomotive. You know, there's... Uh, what, what is it about this wall that causes it to differ so drastically from the previous wall? I now just want to see what happens with these different variations of walls that look the same, but apparently have very different outcomes. I just want to see what happens when we hit the wall. Make something cool happen. What? The train is fine, and if you've noticed, the, the people on the other track seem to still die, which is, so the whole thing is really, it's, it's a fruitless effort at the end of the day. Anyway. All right. Scenario six. Go explore. What happens when you do this? Oh, it just takes you to be able to check things out. Wait, what is this? You've woken up late and are late for work. A train emerges from a tunnel. Okay, so I've woken up late. If you do nothing, you will have no good excuse for being late to work. If you divert the train, you will make all 200 passengers late, but at least you'll have a good excuse for being late to work. Well, I will say, as somebody who works from home, that, um... Really, all I would be doing here is sowing chaos because I wouldn't be on this train heading to work because what I would have done is I would have, instead of going to work at home, I would have gone outside and decided, let me just frick with some other people on this here train, making myself already late for work because I've decided to go dilly-dally with train tracks. Um, but I will say... I do live my life to the creed of not being a burden on other people. And if I'm going to be late for work, that is truly on me. And I'm not going to sacrifice other people as a result. They should not have a worse life because of my not being on time. So, in fact, I will accept my punishment from the boss. Ow. Ow. And get hit by the train at the same time. Wait, does the train go flying off the... Hmm. Uh-oh. 
Oh, it's one of these. Oh, God. Oh, God. I know what's happening here. I have been tied to the train tracks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm wearing magnetic shoes that are strapped very, very tightly to my feet, rendering me unable to move. Uh, you are being filmed. Oh, God, the filming thing. This map maker must have seen the Henzoid map. A train emerges from a tunnel, temporarily blinding the conductor. If you do nothing, you will die. If you divert the train, you will kill one person who wants to die. But the public doesn't know that. And they'll also probably have a real hard time believing me. But okay, this is one of those scenarios where it really matters who the other person is, right? Because if the other person is like a small child, and I have been seen on TV diverting the train into the small child then I will be canceled on Twitter. And I'm not sure if we can have that. If the other person on the other end, say they're really old, right? And we know that they are not having a great time. Then maybe it would be like, well, you know what? We can understand how most people, even if you don't really understand from where you're watching, if you were put in that position, you would probably do the same thing. Also, the person who is old anyway. And... I mean, let's be realistic. The train is coming at you. Are you really, are you really going to take a train to the face? No, you're probably going to be like, holy frick, a train is coming at my face and I'm diverting it no matter the consequence. And I'm going to worry about what happens afterwards, right? So, yeah, also, I the wall is obstructing my vision. I don't know what's on the other side. You think that while this train is just coming at my face really quick... That I'm going to have time to read this book that's been handed to me? No, the train is coming at my face. This looks empty over here, so I'm going to pull the lever crunk. Uh-oh, there's a person. Well, I'm going to turn away because that... Oh, I didn't turn away in time. Would that be considered self-defense? What would that be called? I want to know. I, I want a legal eagle video that... that <laughs> Goes over the, actually it probably already is one, I bet he's already done it or something like that. The legal implications of the trolley problem. And if he hasn't done a video on it already, then he should, because it would actually probably make for an interesting video. Um, but would it be called self-defense if you diverted in order to not die, but you killed someone else? Is that what it would be called? Like, what is the legal term for that action? That's what I want to know. Like, would it be manslaughter or would it be self-defense? Uh, at the end of the day, the person who strapped you and the other person to the train tracks is probably the one who's going to be the one in trouble. But still, I don't know. Is self-preservation a legal term? I'm not entirely sure. But anyway. <clears throat> Scenario 8. You are being filmed. A train emerges from a tunnel temporarily blinding the conductor. If you do nothing, one person who is internationally beloved will die. If you divert the train, 10 people that not even their family cares about will die. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm being filmed. Oh, boy. Captain Sparkles is on the train track? I can't believe someone would think of killing Captain Sparkles, internationally renowned superstar. This is so sad. <laughs> St. Polestar, thank you for the 64 months. Miss the floof, I know, but chat made this happen. The windmill, 57 months. Liability, resident stream doc, we got a 52 months at tier three, absolutely omega. Bad joke of the day, why are doctors always calm? They have lots of patients. Eh, eh. John Ford 2C with 33 months. Okay, what do we, what do we got? Do, do, what if this internationally beloved person is actually like, what if they're not good? What if they're internationally beloved? But that's because nobody knows them really well. And and in in real life, you know, they're actually they're actually terrible people. Like is the case you hear about every now and again with a celebrity who is very famous, but then uh, it, it comes out later on that actually they just suck and they're mean to everybody on the set, and they're terrible and they suck and they're mean to everybody. You know. So, um. Oh man, this, but I'm also being filmed here, which is just, which is a whole freaking, you know what, <clears throat> either way, I'm going to have people who are going to probably like protest outside my house, no matter what happens here, no matter what I do, my whole life is ruined and I might as well throw myself on the tracks with whatever direction I'm letting this happen. So, 
Hmm. Hmm. You're right. A person might not be cared about by their family, but they could actually... These could be the 10 people who are responsible for ensuring that nuclear war never breaks out between all the countries in the world. So therefore, I suppose... Also, I will do nothing because li from a liability standpoint, that's always the way to go. Farewell me, internationally renowned celebrity. That is mighty unfortunate that that's just happened. All right, what do we... Oh, God, am I st I'm on the tracks again, folks. Uh, if you do nothing, you die. If you divert the train, a deaf genie who can grant infinite wishes will be permanently destroyed from the mortal realm. That one came out of left field, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't really see that one coming as a as a thing. Um, why, yeah, why, why the deaf thing? Like, is this, is the scenario that they're not gonna hear the train coming and therefore it's like less scary because their back is turned? Uh, it wouldn't have the genie, wouldn't the genie have the power to restore his own hearing? Or wouldn't you be able to vote, vote? Wouldn't you be able to vote for the genie to restore its own hearing? So you have to like write down or sign your wishes to the genie. And what if you like, what if you mess up because you're learning sign language and then the genie is like, oh, you wish for the complete and utter destruction of the world? All right, here you go. So... I do feel like there is a risk that somebody who is incompetent at sign language destroys the world. And so therefore, I actually, I'm doing the world a service by not having that potential by the genie going away. Huh. Well, that was an interesting genie. I gotta say. Farewell, though. All right, what do we have? If you do nothing, one person dies. If you divert the train, you can double it and let another person decide whether to kill two people or double it again. So what you're saying is this is me pawning off the responsibility to someone and eventually somebody has to take the hit here or alternatively, how many powers of two does it take to hit the world population, at which point even the person who is supposedly going to be manning the tracks next time around, there will be no more people left to pull from. And at that point, the entire world's population will be on this train track and it will wipe out humanity. And after humanity is wiped out, nature will heal itself, presumably, and... Um, species will thrive and flourish and um, I'm going to double or nothing. I'm going to double or nothing. So let's go divert that train. Wait, why is double or nothing? Wait, why are, why are there two people? There are... Did you just automatically let the two people... You, you didn't want to keep doubling? Did you really, the person over there was just like, nope, not doubling anymore. Not gonna do that. You could have just passed off. That was like, honestly, that was like a metaphor for the US debt. Like instead of handling the problem now, you could just pass it off to the next person who's gonna deal with a problem twice as large. Why would you ever, why would you ever let it stop? Just keep, keep pushing it off, you know? It's around, thir okay, it's two to the power of 33. So after 33 times, you wipe out humanity. Hmm. Interesting. Fascinating. All right, what do we got? Train emerges from a tunnel. If you do nothing, 10 people will die. If you divert the train, you will be run over and die by the train. <laughs> Sometime in the next few days, when the train decides to go off piste and stalk you, like the snail in the thought experiment, slowly seeking you out, finding you, such that it can demolish you in your sleep. Hmm. Interesting. What if I avoid? You know, here's the thing that I'm actually interested in. 
if I make it my mission to avoid train tracks, how does this train find me? I My curiosity is going to get the better of me because I'm going to be like, there's no way that this train is actually going to find me if I just stay home, right? A train isn't magically just going to drop on my house, right? And if it is, that is going to be a truly fascinating one that the history books are going to write about, and I am going to have a legacy. The guy who had a train magically fall on his house, and he died because a train fell on his house. But how did the train fall on his house? The world is still trying to figure that one out. I'm diverting so that I can be the guy who died because a train fell on his house, and nobody actually knows how it happened. How did he turn the train into an immortal snail? The genie did it as punishment for me throwing him under the, I was going to say bus, but really train. If you do nothing, five people will die, but you'll get five million untaxable dollars. I, it's so good that you clarify that these are untaxable dollars because otherwise I might have looked at this and been like, ah, so actually I only get two and a half million dollars and this tra really changes my perspective on the whole matter. But thank you for specifying that I actually, my take home is five million dollars. This is very unrealistic because the government would never be like, no, 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 you don't have to actually owe taxes on this one. They would take the money. That's the most unrealistic part of this entire scenario. If you divert the train, only one person will die and you'll get a million taxable dollars. <gasps> so actually only 500,000 or so, but a little bit more because the higher, so it'd be about 50% in California that you take home if you got 5 million. Let's say it'd be about two and a half million dollars. Um, cause 52 and a half percent at the million plus brackets, the highest in the country. Um, but at the lower rate, you'd be on the marginal tax rates of probably like, you know, you, you'd be, what is about 47% probably in the bracket b below a million. And after that, you only like 52 and a half percent. So overall your effective tax rate, probably close to like 42%. Um, so you're talking like, mm, let's just say $580,000 take home versus 2.5. No, sorry, 5 million. So it's almost 10x here. Almost 10x here. And, um, hmm. If you do nothing, five people will die. But also, from the liability standpoint, keep in mind, I elected to just let, because I didn't want to touch anything. But if there is then compensation that is determined to have been paid out to me as a result of my inaction, would I then be seen as on the hook, even though from a liability standpoint, I was like, I just don't want to frick with this because I just don't want to frick with this for liability. So I'm not going to do anything. And I'm going to claim I had no idea why those 5 million showed up in my account. And, but the IRS is going to be like, oh, that's cool. Because you don't know where it came from, you don't owe taxes on it. And I love that the IRS hates this one simple loophole. Either that or I go to prison, not for not for the five people, but for tax evasion. You never know. You never know. All right, so a train emerges. If you do nothing, one person will die. If you divert the train, you'll save them, but they'll have permanent PTSD from experiencing a near-death experience. But I'm going to divert the train. I was I was killed by the immortal snail train. <laughs> oh man. Well played. Well played. Well played. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to pull the lever crunk. I'm a ghost now. So uh continuing along Okay, I am being filmed on this one. If you do nothing, five people will die. If you divert the train, you'll make up to five other people suffer the trolley problem. But hey, it's not your problem anymore. I'm all for it not being my problem anymore, honestly. Oh, that's where the money thing came in. That's where the money thing came in. That's why I now have... 
my money count is at five million one thousand five hundred dollars. That's pretty cool, dude. That and one respawn. Well, oh, hey, that's me over there. What am I doing? Wait. Wait, wait. Is this is this actually like me in the map? Cause there's Filza over there. Like, this can't have been procedurally generated based on me actually being the one to play. This is actually like anyone playing this map would see this. What is about to happen here? A train emerges from a tunnel. Temporary line in the conductor. Destiny forces you to pick a certain action, but you can, of course, have and screw Destiny. If you do nothing, then one person will die, be revived as a zombie, and go on to end Filza's hardcore series. Wait. So is this not a fork you Filza moment? Or am I the person who gets my revenge for the fork you Filza by getting turned into a zombie? I Did I end? Oh. If you that wait a minute, if you divert the train, then one person will die, being revived as a zombie, and go on to end <laughs> Captain Sparkles 1.20 hardcore series, making him lose his Kawaii Cherry Woodhouse. <laughs> I feel like I have sort of a a vested interest in this one, not, here's, honestly, though. Can I be real with you for a second? Okay. Filza getting killed by that baby zombie in his hardcore series is the best thing that ever happened to him. Because as soon as that happened, that became an incredibly viral clip, thus bringing many, many, many people to his stream and thus he met many other people who he was then able to stream with perhaps Filza would never have been in Minecraft Championship if that baby zombie had never killed him there is a chance so therefore I feel like I owe it to Filza to make sure that somebody gets reincarnated as a baby zombie to to really to really make that clip still happen and also make it so that my kawaii house does not get prematurely interrupted this is actually a win-win situation for the first time does the train go by yelling fork you filza that's what the conductor said as it went by um so what's the next one the lever is supposed to divert the train, but is currently broken and does nothing. A train emerges from a tunnel, temporarily blinding the conductor. Okay, so the lever does nothing here? If you do nothing, five people will die. If you pull the lever, the five people will still die, but at least you can cover it yourself with the idea you try to do something. Yeah, I might as well, because in this case, right, there's no one on the other end. There's no liability thing here. It's just, I tried, right? Mm -hmm. I tried, and then everyone could be like, well, he tried. And even though it didn't work, he tried. So, why wouldn't I try? Sorry, buds. I tried. I really did, I promise. All right. You are being filmed. If you do nothing, the camera will see someone get run over. If you pull the lever, someone else dies. But the person is out of frame, and so the audience won't know you killed someone. And there's no way that anyone would ever know. There's no reporting. Nothing would ever happen. Everyone signed really binding NDAs because NDAs definitely count if the thing that's being bound is extremely illegal activities of like a game show where you're pulling levers and people are getting hit by trains. That's definitely how it works. Um, see, in this scenario, I really need to know like who the person is. is a good person, bad person, bad person, good person. You know, I guess... At least this way, nobody has to see the thing, and nobody has to get a copy strike on their YouTube because of filming someone getting hit by a train. So I will pull the lever, Crunk. 
But I'll take a hit in the meantime. Oh, okay. Ow! I got hit by the... I got, like, tail whipped by a train. I didn't even know they could do that. A train emerges from a tunnel. If you do nothing, a ten-year-old child will die. If you pull the lever, you can traumatize them instead. <laughs> you, you phrase that like it's an opportunity. By killing off their parents, siblings, friends, and favorite cousins. Jesus, man. That's... I mean, their favorite cousins might also be 10 years old. Even though they look bigger. Maybe they're just bigger cousins. Like... I'm gonna do nothing on this one, I think. This is another do nothing. Sorry. Kindergartner. Yeah, liability, of course. Just stand aside, and then it's like, I'm so sorry, I couldn't do anything, and their family is yelling at me, but it's like, well, the alternative would be that I was gonna, you were all gonna, you wanna all die, and then I'm on the hook? And then, why am I unable to see? Oop, wrong one, okay. A train emerges from a tunnel, temporarily blinding the conductor, except I'm the one who's blinded. You're tied to the left tracks. And a stranger is tied to the right tracks. They tell you that the train will run you over. You have access to the switch. If you do nothing, you might live. You might die. If you pull the lever, you might live. You might die. Well, you see, I've noticed a wee bit of curvature here in the track. And that would not be happening unless I was on the diversion track. So therefore, I'm going to do nothing because I do believe that if I do nothing, the train will not hit me. Unless... It was all a ruse. I had a feeling that might be the way that they set it up. Just to frick with me. All right, respawn number two. Scenario 20. What do we have? If you do nothing, the I like trains guy gets run over. God, what a disaster that would be. Do you think he would like trains anymore if a train ran him over? If you pull the lever, you ruin the forking joke. So ruined a joke or dead uh, I'm he'll be fine he's been hit many times don't ruin the joke run him over This is a canon event. Hey, he didn't die. He just got yeeted into the nether. He just went into the nether. That's all that happened there. You saw it. You saw it. This is a canon event. I cannot interrupt it. Otherwise, the TVA will be all, all over me. And we cannot have the TVA all over me. I would become a variant for initiating the canon event. The whole world would go into shambles. And worst of all, Oscar Isaac would probably do bad things to me. So, anyway. Um, scenario 21. The conductor can see exactly what's about to happen. If you do nothing, you have time to look away and completely ignore how many people you're in action just killed. If you pull the lever, you, the train conductor, and five people just you just saved can watch one person brutally unalive. What if I, like, bury my head in the sand? What if I hide behind the tree and nobody can see me? What if I just run away? Don't look. And then everything is fine. You know? I think I just don't look. So, I'm going to do nothing and not look. And therefore, I am... Without blame, I am blameless because I did not see anything. Uh-oh, I'm back on the tracks. 
you're tied to the tracks and someone else is currently experiencing the trolley problem a train emerges from the tunnel temporarily blinding the conductor if you do nothing the lever puller might pull the lever killing you if they do and not killing you if they don't alternatively you can shoot the lever puller Uh, killing them and letting the trolley kill five people. <laughs> well then. It didn't say that I am being filmed. Now this, this is the legal legal video that I want to see here. Okay, this is, this is the video where I want to know. Okay, so I shoot the lever puller in order to save myself, but I didn't do this to myself. I didn't want to do this to myself, but I was gonna get hit by a train by some sadistic jigsaw mother trucker, and, and like, I don't wanna die, so. The question is, do I want to do I want to live and deal with the liability or is that liability hassle just too much and just take me train you know the lever puller tied me I don't think the lever puller tied me I I don't think so you know they might not even pull the lever yeah but they're probably do, do you not think what if they don't pull the lever what if they don't want liability hmm I need to get inside the brain of the supposed lever puller. You see, the problem is he's actually standing at the lever, which is a bad sign to begin with because I backed away. They are standing at the lever, which makes me think they are considering it versus me who's scared of the lever and is running in the opposite direction because the lever just screams out, liability, and I'm like, no, no, that's not good. But maybe I take the risk, right? Maybe I take the risk because especially if I'm me and then I have to try to go on and live my life making YouTube videos, I'm going to be known as the guy who shot the dude that then caused five people to die, regardless, just to save his selfish self. And then I might just be fricked and life isn't going to be fun, you know, and my reputation is going to be in shambles and everybody is going to hate me. So, you know, maybe I just trust that that lever puller over there he doesn't like liability either, so I'm going to do nothing. You don't like liability, right? You don't like liability, right? You oh no! You're liable! I survived, actually. Oh. Huh. That wasn't too bad. It was just like getting a shot. Huh. Cool. Just quick train to the face. I never hurt anybody. In fact, doctors recommend it once in a while. It really wakes you up sharpens the senses okay um if you do nothing then life goes on as normal with no one none the wiser if you divert the train uh five people will die triggering an investigation into their presence and revealing industry corruption you'll be initially arrested for murder but later hailed a hero after five-year legal struggle that proves your innocence what Huh? How how does this invest it's a, what but huh? I don't understand the logistics of how this situation plays out. I'm going to go ahead and uh let the train keep on going do it its thing not not slaying the not slaying the people. This one is a win-win for me. I have no liability problems and people survive. And yeah, corruption continues, but it's not, it's not my problem. And therefore I'm also not risking getting sued by big railroad, which is not something I want to get sued by. You're on trial for all your murders. <laughs> uh, a train emerges from the tunnel, temporarily blinding the conductor. If you do nothing, then your defense lawyer dies. So... And so does your chance at getting an innocent verdict, condemning you to prison for life. If you divert the train, then your time travel back to the beginning of this map, giving you a chance at killing the conductor of the scenario, which will let your lawyer live and maybe get an innocent verdict. 
What? What? How does killing the conductor clear me? Is he the only witness? In your time travel back to the beginning of this map, give me your chance at killing the conductor of this scenario. So let your lawyer live and maybe get an innocent verdict? Do I have to redo the map from the beginning? <laughs> Is it... Does this bring me all the way back? So this is my defense attorney, huh? They are wearing quality content. Which means I can't let them get run over because what kind of person would I be if somebody bought quality content and then I just let them get hit by a train? So I gotta pull the lever, Kronk. I'm very curious to see how this plays out. And that's a time machine. Oh, I'm gonna stop you here. No way in heck you're breaking the space time over this. Well, I had my fun for today, so as promised, I'll let you back home. Oh dear. Um, scenario 20, there is one more scenario though, supposedly. So in the end of the day, that was actually the right choice. There is no problem. Whether or not you divert the track, no one dies or is inconvenienced. You are free. Wow. I'm gonna do nothing and go home. This is an incredible development, and we've truly enjoyed the whole scenario. Hello, home. Thank you for playing. Oh, I'm gonna stop you there, because if you go to jail, then I won't be able to have as much fun with you. I had my fun for today, so as promised, I'll let you back home. What if I do nothing, and now I go to the nether? Oh. Well, um, thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to find out what the nether looks like, feel free to try the map yourself. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.